everyone. I can't tell you how excited I am about being able to share my Eagle story with you. I'm going to take you on a journey, and I know what I'm going to share with you, there will be something for everybody to take away. Before I started Forever, I had a very successful marketing and business development career. I enjoyed my career, but 15 years ago when I started a family, I didn't want to work full time, but I wanted to earn a full time income. And today I've got two amazing boys who are 12 and 15 years old. And when I was on maternity leave with my first son, when he was six months old, I handed in my notice, I didn't go back to work. And fortunately for me, a good friend of mine introduced me to Forever. And I was seduced by the idea of earning a really big income, but working part-time and flexibly around being a full-time mom. I didn't know if I could do it. I'd never done anything like this before. I'd never worked with health and wellness products before, and I really thought I didn't know that many people. So I thought if I could just earn a thousand pounds a month, that would do me. And if I fast forward now 14 and a half years, you know, I feel very fortunate because we have become forever millionaires which is a really big deal. My husband gave up his job 10 years ago. We are completely debt free. We live in a beautiful six bedroom home on a lovely, lovely piece of land with no debt. Yes, we drive beautiful cars. But we've been able to provide our children with private education. For me, one of the biggest benefits of having a big forever income is I've been able to help my family through some really difficult financial times. I would not have been able to do that if I was in a normal job. We have about three months holiday a year and what can I say, life is good. Life is really, really good. But to get to this point, in terms of forever, it, is, it has come through achieving all the incentives. So for many, many years, probably 12 or 13 years now, we've been Forever to Drive Level 3 qualified, Global Rally qualified, Chairman's Bonus qualified, and life was good. And then a few years ago, Forever introduced something called Eagle Manager, and I got really, really excited because, you see, I was quite used to achieving all the incentives. So I thought this was going to be another easy box to tick. Why shouldn't it be? I'd achieved everything else. And then I started to look at the fine print. And I realized that as an eagle, sorry, that as a sapphire manager, to achieve eagle sapphire wasn't just about you. You had to have six separate legs qualify for eagle. And you know, generally speaking, I think I have a really good attitude. My three strengths are, I have a learning attitude, I have a great mindset, and I have a strong work ethic. And it's those three ingredients together with the forever opportunity that has built me the business I have today. But something got a bit crosswired when I saw the qualification for Eagle Sapphire. And my immediate reaction was, what? You have to have six different legs qualify? Do you know what, by the time the Eagle Sapphire incentive was launched, you know, I'd had managers who'd been retired for 10 years. That's what happens when you've been in the business a long time. People come, they build, and they live on their passive income. Not everybody, but some. And somehow my positive mindset took a back seat, and I got very frustrated. And I thought it wasn't fair. I thought, how can this be fair? If I do my bit, why shouldn't I qualify? And I thought it was hard. Because unlike Chairman's Bonus, where you can still qualify even if your team don't, why did this have to be different? And I felt so strongly about that that I moaned and groaned to anybody who would listen. And that included my upline manager, Jane Leach. She got it in the neck a few times. Why was it this way? Why, 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 why? The UK Managing Director, Bob Parker, also heard from me a few times why it's not fair, it's hard. It's not fair, it's hard. Poor Aiden got the worst of it. 
I moaned and groaned many times. Greg heard it from me. It's not fair, it's hard. Does, is it just me who sometimes finds things not fair and hard? Who also finds things unfair and hard? Can you please support me? You see, we're all the same. And for two years, that was my mindset. So, so, so much for my learning attitude, positive mental attitude, sorry, my learning attitude, my positive mindset, and my work ethic. No, I dug my heels in and said it wasn't fair and it was hard. And in that time, I had ego managers qualify in my group. It just wasn't across six legs. And I remember two years ago, Aidan had come to the UK for one of our big national events. And in his typical way, he said, so how's it going? How's ego coming along? And I really didn't want to be negative. So I, I was struggling to find something positive to say. It was kind of going, uh, uh, uh. And you know what he said? He said, it's hard, isn't it? I said, yeah. He said, I'll tell you what, it's meant to be hard. I said, are you kidding me? That's all you're going to give me? It's meant to be hard? And he said to me, it's okay, it'll make the reward that much sweeter. And I don't know, something just shifted. And at that moment, I thought, I can continue to choose to be grumpy about it. Or I can choose to exercise my learning attitude, my positive mindset, and my good work ethic, which has built me a millionaire business, and go away and figure out how to do it. And that is a choice. And Aidan said to me at that time, you need to understand with the, the age of your business, it might not be a one-year plan. It might be a two or three year plan. And I came away and gave that some thought. And when I looked across my business, I identified that actually I needed to rewire my group. You see, for the first 12, 13 years of my business, we didn't have ego managers. So it wasn't part of the culture, it wasn't part of what we do. So I think for the more established businesses, it does feel like it's harder because it probably is. So I thought, if I'm going to rewire my group and make it common practice, so we don't just go manager, forever to drive, chairman's bonus, global rally, it's got to be manager, ego manager, forever to drive, global rally, chairman's bonus. What did I need to do differently? So there are three things that I changed in my business. Number one, I knew that if it was going to become part of the culture, not this thing that got launched over here, is I needed to give it a lot of exposure. A lot of exposure. And we did that in three ways. Number one, in every planning meeting to manager, the plan does not go to manager, the plan goes to eagle manager. When you're working out and mapping out the case credits, it doesn't stop at manager, it goes right through to eagle manager, right from the beginning of someone's journey. Eagle is not something which is introduced later on. The second thing we did to give it exposure is that every single team event, big or small, we always have a slot on incentives and there's always a feature slot on Eagle Manager. We always have the new managers and repeat managers do a slot and share why, what the benefits are, how you'll feel, the prestige, the benefits on your bonus, on the growth of your business. And the third thing I did was introduce what we call an Eagle Manager Day. So, for example, two years ago, when the destination was Cancun, we had what is called the Mexican Day. And it was open to all supervisors and above. And the requirements were you had to come in Mexican costume. We had a Mexican lunch, and the room was decorated with Mexican-themed um, decorations. So it was a proper Mexican day, and we had all the Eagle Managers cover all the A to Z of how to get to Eagle and what it will do for your business. So really giving that incentive prime focus above everything else. Because as you've already heard, Eagle is a stepping stone for manager to chairman's bonus. So all the other incentives will come if you help people achieve Eagle. So number one was giving it exposure in lots of different ways across the group. Number two, was I treated it like a serious goal, not like it was going to be an easy thing 
complacency. Listen, when you've been in the business a long time and life is good, complacency sets in. It's easy to be focused when things are easy. It is really hard to maintain focus when something is hard. I think we have all been there. So to help me maintain my focus and what might be a two or three year goal, I created a brand new vision board just for Ego Manager. I did a goal map and I photocopied that and that goal map is everywhere. It's all over my house, not just in one place. It is, I think everybody who's ever walked through my house knows Eagle Sapphire has been a goal because you can't help but trip over it as you walk through. It's in my car, it's in my diary, it's a screensaver on all my different devices. And I backed up that vision board with a new tracking system. Now listen, I do track my business and my husband is spreadsheet mad and he's very, very analytical and we do work as a team. He does all that stuff and he's got really fancy spreadsheets with all these trajectory projections, blah de blah de blah and that's great and we look at them every month. But I'm simple and I have a notebook and in my notebook I handwrite all my people's names, everybody from supervisor right through to the gem positions. Anybody that's in my sphere of influence that I'm working with is in my Eagle Sapphire book and I track all the numbers every month. I do not wait for people to get to manager to start tracking Sapphire, to start tracking Eagle. In my book, I start tracking from supervisor. So it's a vision backed up with a tracking because if you're tracking it, you can influence the activity which is taking place. And so for the last two years, I had those two things in place. At the beginning of, so 12 months ago, at the beginning of this current Eagle, I get my m words all muddled up, the current Eagle incentive period, so the one that's just coming to an end, I sat down and I looked again at, my, at the next 12 months, and to be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to do it this year. The previous year, so going to Cancun, we had loads of Eagle managers, but across four legs, not six. And I could have chosen at that time to say, in fact, it might have slipped out of my mouth to Aiden, it's not fair, it's hard, but I slapped myself as I get back on track, stay focused. And so 12 months ago, I still wasn't sure because, and it was okay because I knew I was working a two or maybe three year plan. Because remember, I was rewiring my group. And through my tracking every month, I realized about November, December that actually, I think we can do it this year. And so the third thing I did was I actually told my team. I had a chat with all the key people I was working with, and some of them are not frontline. I have third, fourth, fifth generation Eagle managers who will count as one of my six legs. So you need to understand if you're a gem position, Eagle qualifier is to look across your whole group because it may not be the people you're working with directly. But something magical happened when I shared this really personal goal with some of the key people and said, you know, you could be part of an Eagle Sapphire qualification. And what's magical is suddenly any doubts that they had and any fear they had about how much work they still had left to do didn't matter anymore because now it wasn't just about them, it was being part of this team achievement because you cannot do Eagle Sapphire by yourself. You might fluke it and do it once, but you ain't gonna do it year in, year out, I can tell you. And so involving your team and making it a team effort is what is the glue that keeps it together, what makes it really special, and what makes it really magical. So I'm absolutely over the moon and thrilled to say that Aiden, I'm not gonna say you were right, I'm not gonna give you that, but I till, I'll, I'll tell you what's happened. So this year we'll have bucket loads, shed loads, truck loads of Eagle qualifiers. Absolute truck loads. Because when you give exposure to Eagle, when you do all those three things across your group, 
it doesn't just touch a few people, it touches the whole group. So you get the exponential benefit across your entire group. And just before I came out to South Africa, four legs were completely done with multiple levels of eagles in that. Fifth leg will be done, I believe, today. When that does it today, there'll be three levels deep of eagle managers because they're gem managers in that, gem eagles in that. And today, tomorrow will be my sixth leg. Now I have to tell you about my sixth leg. And I'm gonna give her a big shout out, Gina Willis, because Gina came to my Mexican day two years ago as a supervisor. Yeah. And since then, she went on to do manager, forever to drive. She promoted her first manager. She is tracking for chairman's bonus, and she will do Eagle today, tomorrow. In terms of the impact from our overall business, remember I have a very established business last year, and I'm saying it's not just Eagle, but Eagle had a part to play in it. Last year we had over 34% growth across the team, and my income has grown over 50% in just the last year. Do you know, where Eagle Sapphire is the best thing. Aiden, close your ears. It's the best thing to move your business to the next level. Will it be easy? Maybe for some of the newer people where you don't know anything different. For the more established businesses, will it be easy? Probably not. Will it happen in the first year? Maybe not. If you work a two or three year plan, will it happen? Absolutely. But it's got to start here and it's got to start here. And you can't become an eagle sapphire with the same mindset as a sapphire. You've got to change the way you think and the way you look at your business. You know, I absolutely believe hand on heart, Forever offers each and every one of us the environment to achieve our truest potential. But to do that, you have to be honest with yourself about where you are at and what are you prepared to do to go from where you are to where you want to be? Because success will demand absolutely everything of you. You can go at the speed that you want, and I have always worked my business around a growing family, but I cannot imagine where our life would be today without forever. I cannot imagine where my extended family's life would be without forever because of the help I've been able to give them. And so if you are not yet an eagle, doesn't matter where you are. If you're like me, when I first saw it at the extreme end here, moaning and groaning and it's not fair and it's bloody hard, it's okay. You just got to decide to decide that you're going to figure it out. Because once you decide, you will figure it out. And the benefits speak for themselves. It's just growth, growth, growth. And the proudest moment will be seeing all of my egos being recognized because at this stage, it's not about the money. It's not about you know, my success. It's about being authentic for your team and helping them to achieve their true potential. So I wanna give a big shout out to my team, the Rolling Snowballs Group and all the Eagle managers who've qualified so far and will do in the next 24, 48 hours. Congratulations and everybody just work towards Eagle. It'll be worth it.